today is uh, set up the new VS Brownie, demonstrate how uh, easy uh, it is to manage for one or two people, and uh, jump in the water and go for a dive off Marathon, Florida. Uh, let's get started. First thing we'll do, is snap the travel case loose, put it aside, we're going to open the hot air intake, that's where the staff goes. We're going to pull the staff out of the gear bag and put the flag all the way to the top. This is the dry intake uh, cap made of uh, solid machine Delrin right in our own factory in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. There we go. Open up the uh, quick change battery door. This is one of our patent pending features in the, in the VS system. Put the uh, heat hose down through the hole in the bottom of the pan. That keeps the center of gravity really low when we're diving and makes the unit tow uh, very gracefully. Yeah, these are the padded storage bags for the Odyssey batteries. Open those up, grab the, the handle, and you just set these guys right in place in the tray. You check your spring-loaded uh, mechanisms there for the contacts. And uh, these are totally sealed batteries. They're sealed to about 30 feet of water pressure. They're also non-venting. They never vent hydrogen gas. They have a hydrogen recovery system in them. So while they're being used or while they're being charged, they never off-gas any hydrogen. They also have an FAA approval rating so you can fly with these batteries. They're very stable. They're uh, made in the USA and they're con considered true dry cells. Very stable for a very long period of time. You can store them away for a year or more without uh, worrying about them deteriorating. Anyway, you just shut the lid and that guy's ready to run. It has a time delay. And there we go. It starts up just like that. The first thing we will do is set these battery bags aside. We will find the flotation tube in the gear bag. Set it out nice and flat. Open up uh, the door to the big boat valve. This is unique to brownies as well. Um, it allows you to inflate the tube very quickly. But most importantly, it allows you to deflate the tube very quickly. So for storage, you just deflate it, put it away again. And it's all, uh, you know, inflatable boat quality material and valve stuff. This is our inflation adapter. It just goes in, twist locks. You take the end of the heat hose and you just put it straight into the flotation tube and at this point you turn the brownie on and about a minute and a half or two minutes later the tube's fully inflated nice and tight here we go Time. That's about it. That's uh, very tight. 
we're able to blow our tube up to where it's the material is uh, stretched very, very nice and tight and makes the unit float and tow across the surface of the water much nicer. We double uh, stitch the webbing at every panel. So in effect, you've got a, uh, a quadruple stitched uh, tube system over the top of a, uh, an oval shaped tube. And we call it the boat tube. It's very, uh, very high quality, very lightweight, but yet uh, nearly indestructible. All right. Now we just pull the uh, heat hose out. We remove the inflation adapter. Then we put the the seal cap back into the boat valve as a double security there. And now you've got uh, everything neatly tucked away. At this point, we're going to take those quick change batteries back out and just temporarily set them aside. This makes managing the unit a uh, single person deal. Neatly drop the uh, heat hose down inside the flotation tube. Get your uh, securing buckles down. You got four buckles that just. Uh, Snap into place, loosen the straps up a little bit before you try it, makes it easier. So then you tighten, uh, tighten them down while you're pushing on the, the pan. You want to keep that center of gravity really low. Another great, unique feature about Brownie's intelligent designs. We uh, have the lowest center of gravity of any system on the market today, and that's due to years of designing and diving these systems. There we go. On... Uh, Low center of gravity is super important. It allows the unit to have a very large uh, surface area so we can float and skim across the surface. But with the low center of gravity design that's unique to brownies, we're also super stable in um, any sea condition that you would feel comfortable uh, boating and anchoring and kind of having a recreational day in. Anything beyond a day that would be considered recreational is probably not a day that's uh, great for diving anyway. So uh, the brownies are typically quite stable in those type environments.